You can you can catch that by doing that. Oh, didn't see you there, friends. Welcome to this new review. And I thought this was an appropriate place to discuss the today's feature film. I am of course talking about a terrible meal, and usually I've seen the film by this point and I make little jokes, but I wanted this experience to be 100% legit my first reactions. So follow me and we'll watch together A Terrible Meal, one of the most infamous porn film ever made. Now get the fuck out of here, I'm trying to take a shit in peace. Uh, sorry again for the wet hair, uh, I had to take a fucking shower after this uh, masterful piece of cinematic arts and uh, I also thought it was appropriate to wear the Poutine shirt since I'm talking about uh, things that make me want to puke, so. Uh, what the fuck did I just watch? It starts off, you know, it's a porn so I can't really talk about story, it and there's no subtitles. So it starts off with this man walking to this girl, not talking on a phone, but like holding a phone very creepily. Like this girl and the ring girl, same same fight, you know, they're both creepy as fuck. And she's just, this, she just has this dead pan fucking stare and she just stares at the camera and starts talking in Japanese. Again, I can't uh, talk Japanese, I can't read Japanese, so kind of hard to understand the plot, although I don't think I really needed to understand that much. It hard, hard cuts to her being super well dressed in a very uh, nice looking set. Like right now I'm very confused because she, she, she looks good. She, she a good looking lady. She has a choker, she has dark clothes. I'm into that but I know what, what's coming up and I already hate her fucking guts. Food doesn't look appetizing on video. Like today we've got 4K, we've got some science for uh, food photography, but back then it just doesn't look appetizing. And she just starts eating everything. And that was my first problem with the film. The first thing that really disgusted me is I fucking hate loud chewing and I hate close-ups of mouths loud chewing. It's probably my biggest pet peeve. Stop. Oh. And that was the first part of the film where I was sitting there and I thought, oh, this is gonna be a long fucking hour. What I like, what, I, what I'd say is I, I like is there is a no soundtrack and that makes it feel so much fucking dirtier. Like if there was some classical music in the background, kind of like in um, Barf Bunny, you know, it would lighten up the mood. You would be like, okay, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a little strange, but you know, I can jam to some classical music or just any kind of soundtrack. But the fact that it's dead and the only thing you can hear is again the tape going through the camera and the loud fucking chewing. It makes it feel even more dreadful, even more like, oh, I'm not supposed to look at this. This wasn't intended to be distributed to the masses. It just makes you feel, you know, dirty, like you should. If you're watching this movie, you should feel dirty. I felt dirty, I had to take a shower. And then she just starts eating everything with her hand, and then she decides, oh, I'm just gonna throw up in this silver pot. That that looks very nice. Very nice cutlery, very, very, very fancy. This, this, this is a high budget production. And then she just, throws up and that's where I kinda I wasn't really disgusted by the puke at this point I was distracted by this woman's talent to shove her entire fist down her throat she's really like <laughs> she has a big fucking mouth like she's fucking fisting her throat that's fucking impressive and afterwards, I kind of started feeling dizzy, you know, the loud chewing, the eating, the vomit, kind of grossed me out for a while. Oh no! Oh no, she's going for fucking Christ! You fuck! Tabarnak de call, you stay dégueulasse! At the like 20 minute mark, I really got tired. I wasn't so much disgusted, I was just bored out of my mind at that point. And a lot throughout the entire movie, the, throughout the entire beginning, there was some stuff that truly disgusted me. 
Don't lick the fucking rim. It's not a fucking margarita, it's your puke. But after a while, you just get numb to it. And then this piece of fucking shit comes on screen and decides to eat the boogers of that lady. Oh no, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, you are a monster. Don't fucking do that. And at the 30 minute, 35 minute mark, which is way too, uh, way too deep into this film, the butler shows up and she decides to blow him. And that also didn't really impress me. Just saw the, that woman double fist her mouth and like, I'm not surprised she can take the entire penis. Bro, he came. The fuck, dude? He got blown for like two minutes and he came. What the fuck? So at that point, I thought to myself, okay, this is just gonna be this girl throwing up, eating the vomit, sucking one guy off, and it's just gonna be boring. But then it takes a turn to a, um, I would say regular porn scene, but the fact that uh, he's baby birding into her mouth while she's sucking him kind of makes it out of my league for what I, I, I enjoy in pornography. You got the baby bird and he's pinching her nose. <laughs> Doesn't want to get the puke in her nose. Oh, we got the baby bird. This is fucking good. <laughs> oh, second round, round two of the baby bird. Oh, now he's not pinching. The spit is like in her hair. Oh, she's gonna be mad. You got some spittle in her hair. And the sex scene is typical for JAVs of the type. It really, the censorship kind of doesn't work for me in that context because it's not really well done. The technology wasn't really there. And you're just looking at two people in uh, doing missionary, which is a position that really doesn't work for pornography. That's like the worst missionary I've ever seen. Oh, now it's doggy and she just has puke like dangling. And then, as all porns do, he ends up coming in her mouth. Oh, he's gonna come. He's gonna come on her mouth, uh, in her mouth, on her face, in her mouth. Okay. Dropping a very, the very underwhelming load. Butler had a, be a better load than the, this guy. That's a very underwhelming load. It takes a twist. A uh, twist, uh, you know the twist at the end of pieces, kind of like that, but more disgusting. He decides to just throw up this chunky fucking white and y yellow vomit, and it just, you know, it just, it, it, it makes you a, a bit on the edge. And then she just looks at you and talks to you, calls you a pervert, you're a piece of shit, and she laughs and plays with vomit, and the end. Like, I thought he was just gonna, like, puke one last time, but he's struggling. Oh, there's... Oh, there's a little piece of corn. You fucking, you are a fucking this piece of shit. You, oh. There's corn in there. You fucking cunt. You knew what you were about to shoot. Why did you eat fucking corn? All right, people, that was the review. Uh, very anticipated for me. Uh, very, um, I'm super happy to make it because Whilst it's not a movie I really enjoyed, I enjoyed the fact that it represents my 100 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who supported me through this amazing five last months, and I'll keep doing these reviews as long as you keep watching them. Uh, hit like, hit subscribes. See you guys next time.